Welcome to the LSE Methodology Institute's Data Tutorial Series, sponsored by the LSE Annual Fund. In this video, we will show how to run a binary logistic regression. Hello again. As with the other tutorial videos, we'll be using the dataset mi underscores data tutorial dot dta. In this video, we'll be showing you how to carry out a binary logistic regression analysis. In other words, the response variable is a binary variable, a variable with two categories. The variable we'll be using as a response variable is this variable here called petition, which asks respondents whether or not they've ever signed a petition. For our explanatory variables, we'll be using gender, a binary variable, which asks the respondent's gender, the continuous variable age, which asks the respondent's age in years, and finally this binary variable here called vote, which asks respondents whether or not they intend to vote in the next general election. So to carry out a logistic regression analysis in Stata, it's quite straightforward. You type in the command logit, and then first select your response variable petition, and then select your explanatory variables gender, age, and vote and then click enter and wait for Stata to give you output. Right, so now instead of getting coefficients if we wanted to get odds ratios instead of using the command logit we would use the command logistic and then the rest of the command is the same as before where we select our response variable petition and then we click on our explanatory variables gender, age, and vote and click enter and wait for the Stata output. So now we have some output from this logistic regression analysis. What we'll do next is explain what some of these numbers mean. And here we have the output for the binary logistic regression. We have two tables. The first table was generated by the command logit and the second table was generated by the command logistic. The difference between the two tables is that in the first table we have coefficients and in the second table we have odds ratio. If you look at the coefficients we can see that the coefficients are negative for gender and age and for vote the coefficient is positive. We are testing if these coefficients are equal to zero and we have the z-test here and the p-value associated to the test. We conclude that those people who intend to vote at the next general election are more likely to have signed a petition in the past. We have the confidence intervals for the coefficient of vote here and in the second table we have the odds ratio and we are testing the same hypothesis we are testing that the coefficients are equal to zero or the odds ratio are equal to one and we get the same results because we are testing the same thing only the coefficient or the odds ratio for vote is significant and the odds ratio are here you get the odds ratio by uh, taking the exponential of the coefficients and the odds ratio for vote is 6.7 which means that the odds of those people who intend to vote the next general election are 6.7 times higher than the odds of the group who intend not to vote at the next general election. And we have the 95% confidence interval for odds ratio here. Goodbye.